I think someone got a good discount by ordering these signs by the dozen. The room is being monitored by several cameras, and on top of that, the strict no smoking rules. Wonder what they are storing in here. A crane for heavy boxes, and probably also military equipment. They are taking tanks along on a research trip? Just what did I get involved in here? He's guarding the train. Hello. So, comrade, are you coming with us to Tunguska? Uh, yeah. Well, it's amazing what a person will do for a couple extra rubles at the end of the month. I also need the permit. Damn. I must have left it in the changing rooms, but I don't have to go all the way back there again, do I? Yes, you do. Sorry, comrade, but I unfortunately can't do anything about it. If it were up to me, I would let you in, even without it. But it's unfortunately not up to me. The FSB guys would bite my head off if they found out. Oh, come on. Nobody has to find out about it. No, I'd rather not risk it. I heard Solotov screaming. Poor guy. Solitao? What about him? Where is he? In the game room. I think they really put him through the ringer. So hurry up and go get the permit. You still have a few minutes. And while you're at it, try to see if you can find the train driver. We've somehow lost him. I had him paged a few times already, but he simply isn't responding. I would look for him myself, but I can't leave my station. And hurry, we're already running late. Do you know what the agents are doing here? Working, I suppose. No, really? We're all just doing our job here. And most of them are also really nice. They're people just like you and me. I suppose you're right. I think I can save myself the question about the FSB people. No one dares to say a word that is in any way interesting. Isn't the train driver here yet? No. Maybe you should have him paged again. Okay, but I don't think it'll do much good. 17 calling 48. Come in, please. 48 here. What do you need? Could you page our friend, the train driver, again? He still isn't here yet. Again? Yeah, I know. I can't do anything about it, either. Okay. Would the train driver please get his fat ass to his workstation and pronto? Let's hope that it works. Is everybody already on board? Yes, almost. We're still missing a couple guys from the FSB. But otherwise, everyone should be here. And all the scientists, too? Of course. They were all brought on board as soon as we started boarding. Weren't you here yet? No, obviously not. Were there any problems? No, not really. But some of them were bound so tightly that they didn't have much of a chance to resist. Oh, yeah? Good thing, too. Have they all been put into one compartment? I don't think so. But I don't exactly know for sure. What do you care? You're only responsible for your section, and not for the entire group. Yes, I'm really happy about that. If they so much as touch Daddy, hopefully I'll get into the right compartment. And if I don't, how do I find out where Daddy is? And how do I get there? Well, I'll have to think about that as soon as I get on board. Tell me, do you know why the train is so heavily guarded? You already know that, don't you? They explained it to us several times. Even if I don't really believe everything. For example? For example, that the captive scientists were all spies for the enemy. But whatever, it's not my concern. What do you suspect? No idea. I just think it's strange that they're being brought to a research station now. But maybe they aren't supposed to do any research there. What then? Tell me. Who knows what they'll do with them there. But let's change the subject. Because I'd rather not think about it. No, neither do I. Then I'll begin the search. Good luck.
There seem to be deployment orders in there. Obviously, throughout the whole train journey, the highest state of alarm has been ordered. They're expecting trouble from some kind of terrorists. That's why it says in the deployment orders that all irregularities must be reported immediately. I'm obviously not the only uninvited participant in this excursion. The guards will be extremely attentive to their duties. That's not good. Not good at all. There is something here about the exceptional treatment of special guests. Does that mean the prisoners? Maybe I'll find my father on the train. I'd better hurry. A box of matches from the nightclub lady. A few are still in it. A two-way radio. There is a sticker on the back with the number 15 on it. Hello. If you don't get out of here, you could end up like the guy in there. And believe me, you don't want that. So beat it. Hello. Get out of my face. five-digit combination lock. I can forget cracking it just by trying random numbers. Okay, action. This is number... 15. Calling number... 2. Come in, please. No answer. A two-way radio. There is a sticker on the back with the number 15 on it. Okay, action. This is number... 15. Calling number... 7. Come in, please. No answer. If I'm going to try my luck as radio operator, then not everybody has to know about it. If I try it here, I could get myself into a lot of trouble. Okay, action. This is number 15. Calling number 8. Come in, please. No answer. Okay, action. This is number 15. Calling number 23. Come in, please. No answer. Hi. Hello. Don't forget, I still need your permit. Isn't the train driver here yet? No. Maybe you should have him paged again. Okay. But I don't think it'll do much good. 17 calling 48. Come in, please. 48 here. What do you need? Could you page our friend, the train driver, again? He still isn't here yet. Again? Yeah, I know. I can't do anything about it either. Okay. Would the train driver please get his fat ass to his workstation and pronto? Let's hope that it works. Then I'll begin the search. Good luck.
Okay, action. This is number... Fifteen. Calling number... Two. Come in, please. No answer. Hi. Hello. Don't forget, I still need your permit. Isn't the train driver here yet? No. Maybe you should have him paged again. Okay. But I don't think it'll do much good. 17 calling 48. Come in, please. 48 here. What do you need? Could you page our friend, the train driver, again? He still isn't here yet. Again? Yeah, I know. I can't do anything about it either. Okay. Would the train driver please get his fat ass to his workstation and pronto? Let's hope that it worked. Then I'll begin the Good luck! Okay, action. This is number... 15. Calling number... 48. Come in, please. Central here. What is it? What exactly do I want to do? It might help if I thought about that for a moment. There's nothing useful in here. Do you still need more time? No, I'm almost finished. Then we can leave. A five digit common I'd rather have a vodka. You make tea in that. There's nothing useful in here. This one's been sprayed red. Is that of any importance? 
There is no opening for a key or anything like that. Not visible anyway. I don't know what's in there. It looks a bit like toxic waste. Some of the soldiers have been using that hole in the floor as a rubbish bin. They could at least have let a couple of gold rings drop into it. I'd better get changed again. The guard on the side entrance would start asking all sorts of questions if he suddenly saw me in uniform. According to Sergei's theory, I should be able to get in there without any problems. What now? The guy who took over the job of Sergei's contact man looks extremely well trained. Hey, hello! It's me again! Hi. Can I ask you something else? Sure. Anytime. I'm bored anyway. The two men that you came here with... Psst. We should only talk about them behind closed doors. Or better yet, not at all. Oh, they are from the Secret Service. FSB, aren't they? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. Good. So can I. Okay, I understand. But you could at least tell me their names, couldn't you? If you'll leave me alone about it after I do. I promise. Good. Fitizov and Radnikov. And who is who? I kept my promise? Now stop asking me questions. Just because you don't care about your health doesn't mean that I don't care about mine. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon. I better put the uniform on again. Okay, action. This is number... Fifteen. Calling number... Forty-eight. Come in, please. Central here. What is it? Headquarters. Please page both agents Fedosov and Radinkov. They should report immediately to the guard on duty in the freight compartment at the rear end of the train. Okay. Next time, I should think beforehand about what to say. It seems it worked out anyway. Solitao. The poor guy looks really badly beaten up. A car battery. The connected cables make me think that Solitao has had a few electric shocks delivered to him. 
Is that Solitao's blood? He doesn't seem to have any open wounds, but the blood is still fresh. Smoking aloud? So there is one rule for the ladies and gents of the Secret Service and another for the rest of the population. Hopefully they'll get the poor guy to a hospital on that one. Is that Solitao's blood? He doesn't seem to have any open wounds, but the blood is still fresh. Crushed syringes. I don't know what was in there, but I'd better not touch them. He's still breathing, but several bones appear to be broken. Also, bad burning on his torso. It looks like he has been tortured with electric shocks. He's got nothing on him, but maybe I can use his dog tags. Those are Solitao's dog tags. Rank, private, first class. Service number 31545. Those are Solitao's dog tags. Rank, private, first class. Service number 31545. A five-digit combination lock. I can forget cracking it just by trying random numbers. Three, one, five, four, five. And will the lock open now? Hey, easy when you know the right combination. There's something in it, an entry card. That must be the one that I should have got from Solitao. My new name is already on it, Nina Perkova. My traveling permit. I could get used to my new name, Nina Perkova, but never to the photo. Hello. Don't forget, I still need your permit. Isn't the train driver here yet? No. Maybe you should have him paged again. Okay, but I don't think it'll do much good. 17 calling 48. Come in, please. 48 here. What do you need? Could you page our friend, the train driver, again? He still isn't here yet. Again? Yeah, I know. I can't do anything about it either. Okay. Would the train driver please get his fat ass to his workstation and pronto? Let's hope that it works. Then I'll begin the search. Good luck. Well then, up you go, and welcome aboard the MS Boredom, on its way to the end of the world. Damn, the train is leaving. What am I going to do now? I still haven't found any clues telling whether my father is on board or not. On the other hand, if I don't continue the search, I'll never find out. And I don't have any real alternative either, do I? Let's hope that will turn out right. We'll see we're not making an offer with that yet, but we're following some concrete no, clues. Not. That is unsatisfactory. It's not we are running out of time in our rain project here. Must be in the planet. Problems to the surface, or to the Don't bore me with details. details. You don't mean to tell me that you can't handle a couple of people that they might just need more. No, I would. 
good. Well, then you know that you have what I need. Do. himself to sleep. A talent that too few people have. Just in time, too. That senseless twaddle was driving me around the bend. People who tell you all about their digestive problems are not the most pleasant folk to share a conversation with. But when they also start to tell you about the effects of the recently enjoyed castor oil, now I can have a little look around in peace. <laughs> 